Hey guys, welcome back to Mods. Mods. Uh, we have an older blaster here that I actually got uh, with a gift card for my birthday from uh, Walmart. Uh, this is the Tetra Shot. I figured I'd pick it up, do a little review because I haven't yet. Um, it's kind of like a, I guess it's like a shotgun-esque blaster with these uh, linked, I guess like a chain of four per. So it sounded interesting, I wanted to test it. I wanted to test it with the darts it came with, um, waffle heads, and then of course, short darts. I wanted to see if it would double fire a short dart. Um, so you could have a lot of ammo. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get it out of the package. All right, so here we go. We have the blaster itself, which is pretty simple. It's not big, big, but it's big enough. It's actually comfortable size. Um, it is pretty cheap. You can hear it creak all over the place, but uh, you know, whatever. But basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna load up your shells here with the uh, darts. There's a little orange button up here. You're gonna press that, pull it back. It's on a little spring, you lift that up. And you can load in the chain like so if I can grab it. And you just put it down. And then you can link the chain as well, which we will actually do. So it's pretty simple. Uh, kind of reminds me of any uh, any other chain fed blaster from either Dart Zone or Busby or anything else. So we will go ahead and load this guy up real quick. Um, Let's see, these should clap together pretty quickly, I believe. Let's see here. There we go. Yep, just like that. All right, uh, we'll first load it up with the darts that came with, and then uh, we'll go from the, these to waffle heads, and then from waffle heads to short darts, and uh, farm over the chrono and see what we get. Um, I don't usually like these darts because they usually have a ton of glue on them. Um, they claim long distance, I think, what did it say on the package, 90 feet or something? I don't think that's going to happen. Um, just because of how large the spring is in there, and this being a pretty cheap blaster. Um, but other than that, let me throw these guys in here real quick, and uh, then we'll head to the door. All right guys, so we got the chain all uh, uh, filled up here. And it looks like they give you enough to fill it up twice, maybe a little bit more, um, which is nice. Um, always good to have more darts than you need, especially to be able to fill the blaster. Um, I'll pop that up. And I believe that will just go over like that. And Set it in there. Make sure that's straight, which is a little hard to do. There we go. Have to have it level. Um, so now that it's all together, you are now packing, I believe, um, what is this? Uh, 96 darts? 12 times 8? No. Yes? No. Yes? Something like that. 92 maybe. Um, I'll put it up here. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it is high, ca high capacity. Um, and if you notice in the back of the, this chain here, there are dart posts. So technically we could snip those out, which I may do, um, just so we can put in short darts. Yeah, we may do that. We'll do that after we test these in the uh, uh, Adventure Force Waffle darts. So uh, let's go to the door. All right, guys, here we are at the door with the uh, Adventure Force Tetra shot. I'm not sure how this exactly works. I don't think it shoots four at a time. I think what it does is it shoots one, then it rotates 
um, around and it kind of turns the cylinder <laughs> as it goes. But we'll see. Um, yeah. All right, let's see what kind of numbers we get. 60. 60. 66. 66. Or error. 49. 62. 65. Error. Kind of wobbly. 68. Wow, that kind of fell out of there, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's weird how this thing works. 66, 64, 66. Error. Some of these are coming about coming out halfway because of the glue which is always fun. That's why I don't use these darts because they, uh, they tend to get stuck in the whatever they, they are in. Um, so we're gonna say an average of 65. Um, yeah, not real consistent, not real powerful. Um, I have a feeling we're not gonna get much higher FPS with the waffle head darts just because of the spring in there. It doesn't sound like it's big at all. Um, yeah, it's a weird blaster. Um, it's more, I think it's more of a gimmicky thing, um, that doesn't quite really work. Um, but it's interesting on how it works. So basically it does go through, um, it has four air restrictors. Uh, if you take the chain out here, you can see, lift this up, take the chain off like so. If I can get it on. Come here, you. There we go. Okay. So if you look in there, there's four air restrictors. So basically, it cycles through them per shell, because each shell has four darts. So it goes through each of those, fires them, and then on the fourth one, I think it actually rotates to the next shell, which is very interesting. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's <laughs> if you find it for cheap, like fifteen bucks, pick it up. But I think it's like I don't know how much this is now. I, like twenty five or something. Wait, <laughs> um, you know, just wait. Um, but the gimmick is cool. Uh, if it worked a little bit better, if I had a higher spring in there, I'd say it's even better. Um, you know. But uh, I'll probably just sell this guy to somebody that really wants to mod it if they want to. But, uh, you know, it's very mediocre. Especially with these, these darts are horrible. As you can see. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I'm just going to say it's interesting because I don't know how else to explain it. Um, <laughs> but yeah. If you guys want to pick one up, I'll leave a link down below. Uh, they're at Walmart, I believe. Um, but other than that, guys, please like, follow, share, and subscribe. We are almost at uh, 1,600 subs, which is fast. Uh, we went from 1,500 to 1,600, I think, like within like maybe what a week and a half or two weeks. So that's crazy. So thank you for that, guys. Uh, but other than that, I'm Games Mods, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right? Bye.